I just had to watch you guys. I saw you on that other side. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I did. Well, I want to apologize to you guys for not getting a video out last week. I went on vacation and I had the vacation episode uploaded and ready to go and I thought that I'd be able to get another episode out on the following Tuesday, but when I got home, I ended up having to take care of some other stuff and wasn't able to actually get on the bike until today. So it's been a few days since I've been back on vacation that I've been able to get on the bike itself. So my apologies for missing a week and I hope, hope you guys aren't too, too hurt about that. Really, I'm hoping I didn't lose anybody over that. And it kind of, kind of sucks because I've been putting out an episode every week since I started this. And in some cases, two episodes a week. And in a couple of issues, a couple of weeks, I got three episodes out for weekend work or something to that effect. So, my apologies. Oh, that mother... Oh, shoot. I ran over that squirrel. I didn't really... Uh, bad mistake. So, since I came back from vacation, I've gotten on my bike a couple times, and it sounded pretty rough. So, I checked the oil, and the oil was low. So, I don't know if I have a leak, or if this thing's burning oil, or what. Fortunately, I had some left over and I put it in there and it seems to be running much better now. But I definitely, that definitely worries me. Maybe there's something, that, maybe that's something that happens. I mean, I only had my other bike for three months. <laughs> I guess September, October, November like three months and a couple days. Three months, three days, I think it was. And then uh, this one I got at the beginning of December and we're at the end, two thirds of the way through June. This guy doesn't drive over stuff. So I'm going to have to check in with uh, the guys at the shop and see if that's normal or if there's some sort of issue. I haven't noticed any leaks, like there's no there's no leaks in the garage where I keep it and I keep it in the garage most times. 
Uh, I probably ought to check underneath to see if maybe there's something else going on. But if there was a hole or something, I would imagine that it would be, I would imagine that the, the oil would be all gone, not just a little bit. Because I only added like a, a half a quart. Not even a half a quart, because I used, it's funny, it needs 2.3 liters of oil. It needs 2.3 liters of oil, and they only sell it in one liter, so you have to buy three liters. So you use all of two plus a little of the uh, next. So I may not have added a, a half a liter. I may have added, uh, a third or so like there's still about a half uh, maybe a half a liter left in the container I like wheelies yes I do I like wheelies how about you sound off one wheel sound off one wheel Sound off one wheel, sound off one wheel. So I stopped by the shop earlier and asked my man Phil what he thought might be the issue with the low oil. And he asked me about the oil change that I did a while back. I guess it was about a month ago. I don't know how many miles back that was. Maybe a few hundred or so. And he asked me if I drained the oil, put the filter on, added oil, ran it for a little bit, and then added more oil. And I said, no, I did not add more oil. And he said the issue is probably that the oil filter soaked up some of that oil and that I need to run it that, that I need to add more oil after changing it so I was like ah that makes sense and so when I just started it up started it up a minute ago when I started it up so when I started it up a minute ago uh, it sounded back to normal so I think that's what it was My booty's too big for this bike. Booty's too big for this bike. Oh, yeah, I knew that. Sorry.